after you install the wire harness into the green connector right here um, I think what I'm gonna do is just attach this to the wire here with the zip tie um, I did not want the wire to come over <clears throat> the weather stripping and close the door so what I'm gonna do this is for the tail light comes through here and comes out right here just gonna take a screwdriver pry this rubber piece out see how it's easy you just pry it out and then my wires are gonna go down here down to here it goes into the bumper and then it's gonna come down here and I'm gonna attach the wires down here that way the wires will always be there and I don't have to worry about shutting the tailgate. Okay, as you can see, once you take this rubber grommet out for the tail light, um, you can slip the connector right through, and then you got the wires. Uh, one thing I did notice, this is kind of sharp. So what I'm gonna do is, um, if you can put something in there, I don't know, I'm gonna put a bunch of duct tape on it because um, after a while it may end up chewing in your wires and you don't want that to happen okay guys here's the tail light you know what I did it's kind of a crappy job but I ended up putting some duct tape up here on that sharp lip I just piled a bunch on there layered it um, this rubber grommet like I said it just comes out and you can pull the wire through so I just kind of have it in there as best I can. You can see it's really loose. Um, so I think I'm just gonna do that. We'll see how it goes. I was thinking about cutting this right here and bringing it through. You can also cut the wires. Um, that would probably be the best way of doing it. I did take the tape off on this. This area is pretty tight. Um, you could run the wires through one by one. Just take a little more time. Um, but I'm gonna try this duct tape. I'm gonna fit this a little bit better. Um, anyway, the wires come down, like I said, it goes down behind the bumper. And it goes right here. So I just installed this trailer hitch. I'm not gonna do a video on that because there's plenty out there. But I did not see a whole lot of videos of how to hide these wires. So basically what it is, I just ran the wires behind the bumper and I just have it coming down here and I have two zip ties. They're just crossed, it's right here. And that way I can keep my wires here and I don't have to close it into the tailgate. Um, I didn't do a video to show how to take this apart. If you bought one of these, um, there's other videos on here that you can see how to take it apart but basically there's a screw right here you gotta take off why am I not focused there we go there's a screw right here this just lifts up and then this is down you know like that you pull it out and what you're pulling out is these metal brackets um, the screw right here that's the um this right here that's got to come out and then the screw over there as well has to come out there it is there and you just kind of pull <clears throat> the green connectors behind this and what i did is i just ran the wires here i zip tied this on here and like I said, I just ran the wires in here. This is loose still, but just ran the wires into the tail light. And it's gonna go down. All right, guys. Um, I just recently got this Jeep. If you found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe to my videos. Um, I'll do some random stuff to the Jeep. You never know, maybe it'll help you out. I forgot to point out, to take the tail light off, you take this screw out and this screw. And right here, there's a little stud that sticks into the car. 
it's kind of hard to get out but what would you want to do is pull the tail light straight back kind of wiggle it a little bit I uh, can't uh, right there and it goes into the frame um, once you wiggle it pull it out it'll come right out okay so I just noticed this the wire comes through here comes under this um, and it's fine there's a gap underneath here it may be best to go ahead and cut this and run the wire straight through I'm not gonna do that right now cuz I already got it installed um, I'm just gonna run with it like this I think it'll be just fine okay here's the wire harness that I bought just if anyone's curious bought on Amazon there you go forget how much it was it was like 30 bucks plugs right in um, seems pretty good I haven't tested it yet hopefully it works because it's all installed